Rock and Pop Stories. Blondie, Heart of Glass, 1979. Blondie, it should be remembered, is a band too often confused with its blonde singer, Debbie Harry. Starting out in the mid 70s, they were part of the new American scene. In New York, they regularly graced the stages of Max's Kansas City and CBGB's, the places where it's happening for hipsters. Their first recordings for private stock records went unnoticed, but not by everyone as they attracted the keen ears of David Bowie and his pal Iggy Pop, for whom Blondie opened concerts. Things got moving for them when they had the good idea of buying out their contract and signing with the international label Chrysalis who re-released their first album, then recorded a second, released in February 78, and things got serious with their first hit, Dennis. Their next album, Parallel Lines, made them world famous, shaking up the blondy sound that their first fans loved. The song that would take them to fame had already been around for a few years, as Debbie Harry explained to Uncut magazine. We started this song in 74, but we'd never used it, We tried it live in lots of different ways, but we realized we just couldn't get the chemistry right. Yet we kept playing it regularly. In June and July 78, the band were at the Record Plant Studio in New York with Australian producer Mike Chapman, who had a flair for the hit. The band suggested a very reggae version of Heart of Glass, but he told them, quite rightly, that reggae wasn't very popular in the States, at least at that time. But Debbie and Chris Stein, the band's guitarist and the Bell's sweetheart, had an unmentionable passion for disco. Why unmentionable? Because the public was tiring of the pervasive disco wave and Disco Sucks t-shirts were beginning to flourish. The couple, assisted by keyboarders Jimmy Destry, finally found the right mix, blending their new wave with disco. For the text, which in broad outline tells of the singer being harassed by a guy, Looking for a rhyme to glass, the couple found a pain in the ass. In French, un homme de. But in America, we're a stickler for bad language, and some radio stations may refuse to use the expression, so they'll have to publish a watered-down version for these uptight people. Even if some of their early fans turned away from them with contempt, the success of Heart of Glass, released as a single in January 79th, was colossal reaching the new one on both sides of the Atlantic, with the album Parallel Lines in its wake. The band split up in 82 and reunited in 97, but that's another rock and roll story. <laughs> 